how is it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so we are now in October. Don't know where the year has gone. We are now in October. Um so obviously as with last October my main thing this month is trying to push out my two horror books a little bit more so that is Broken Without, mm, Broken Before Use and Welcome to Mary's Vale. Um, mostly at the moment this is just making sure one or the other of those are what I'm posting uh, about when I'm doing like the chains and stuff on Twitter. I do have a free book promotion for both of them the week of Halloween, which is like just before Halloween and then Halloween and I think it is then the day after. I can't remember the exact dates that I picked for it, um, but that period of time is when both of those books will be free. Um, well, that's for not remembering the exact dates. I can, I will try to sort of, I don't know, put it in the comments or put it on screen somewhere, what the exact dates are when I come to edit this. Um, this is probably going to go up like right before it is as well so it'd be good for you guys to sort of know um i have talked quite a bit about these two books in the past um so <laughs> i'm not entirely sure where i'm going with this vlog i probably should have like grabbed one of them to sort of do a reading um but to be fair that is one of the other things that i am considering doing this month is to do maybe do a live reading maybe sort of like set things up so i've got it going live on um facebook not facebook oh yeah maybe facebook uh but definitely going live on youtube and maybe instagram and maybe twitter and or facebook um all at the same time depends on like how easy that is to set up and how many sort of things i need set up in order to do it um, i can definitely do like two of those at the same time and youtube would definitely be one of them um i know i don't have much of an audience so there is a kind of i don't know like how many people like click on to like a random uh youtube live stream they have no idea who the person is or what's going on with it um so i have no idea how well that would work i'm also not the best at reading things out loud um so yeah that's <laughs> uh that is uh that is something that i also have to consider um and i'm also not sure whether i would um do broken before use or welcome to mary's Vale. so technically speaking you can read them in any any order if you read welcome to mary's Vale first then broken Use kind of becomes sort of like a, a prequel um if you will read uh broken before use uh first then welcome to mary's veil events follow on from that but they're not 100 percent affected by that so you, you yeah it's um it's one of those situations where you can very much read them in any order and it like both stories will still sort of make sense and things will sort of still come together but there's no it's not like a proper series series um in the sense of oh yeah that that's a definite you have to definitely read this one before before you read this one um because obviously that was how it's designed when i when i first wrote the two books so at this point i'm like i don't know if i'm going to do uh a reading of broken before use or a reading from welcome to mary's vale um it will be very much dependent on uh whether or not I do it at all and how I feel when I sort of come to do it and how much I actually end up reading and stuff like that. Um, I'm not even like, I'm not even sure like how much I'd be able to get through. I'm not sure, as I said, I'm not sure like how successful it would be. Um, I'm not sure like the best way of going about it or, or anything like that. But um, I think as a sort of like a Halloween thing, it might be quite interesting to sort of do. Um, it, it's one of those things where I occasionally think about like just doing like a random live reading um, for one of my books. I, I do sort of like think about that a lot, not not just for these two, but for like for all of them. So it'd be 
maybe a nice kind of way of experimenting with that and who knows by the time this one goes up I might have already tried it for the first time um I'm not sure at this point exactly when in a month this one is is actually going up um but yeah it's it's one of those where it's it's sort of like it's like a nice idea in theory and if I were more adept at uh, sight reading, um, then it would probably work quite well. I'm not very good at sight reading. That is like my biggest problem is, uh, as I said, I'm not very good at reading things out loud. And a lot of that is is sight reading. Um, my, I, I don't know what it is. I just... I just trip over words quite a lot, I stumble over words quite a lot. Um, if I like know, like even if I even if I've like read the thing like two or three times beforehand, I mean if you if you've ever seen me do like any of my little reading things that I sort of like posted up, yeah, you're usually looking about the fifteenth, sixteenth version of reading that. <laughs> And not only the 15th, 16th version of reading that, but that's like not including all the times of practicing, that's just including all the times of actually recording. I do struggle quite a lot, which is why I tend to keep the readings quite short. Uh, so there's a lot less for me to sort of trip over. But it is one of those things I do generally find quite difficult to do. Um, I found it quite difficult to do since I was a kid. I don't know why I find it difficult to do. It's just not a skill I naturally kind of have um i'm quite good like if i have a chance like rehearse things i can memorize things quite well um if it's like like a short like like learning lines i'm quite good at learning lines um, i'm just not very good at sight reading i've never been very good at sight reading and i can't explain why i'm not very good at sight reading it's just i'm not very good at sight reading it's just one of those things um so yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm not sure whether or not it is something I will end up doing. Um, it's definitely something I kind of want to try and experiment with for the channel just in general uh, and has been since I stopped doing the uh, I The Reads series. Um, that kind of showed me a lot of like the downfalls when it comes to me sort of uh, reading things out loud and, and, and doing stuff like that and, and why I am very hesitant over doing it. But at the same time, it is something that I want to like just be able to do occasionally and just like be able to experiment with occasionally. Um, so I think it would be a good way of getting people kind of invested and interested in, in my writing itself as if they can actually sort of like hear what it sounds like, if they can actually get an idea of you know how I write and my writing style and stuff like that and so yeah it, it's one of those things where I feel like it's important for me to, to to do it and try it and see if it works um on a sort of like a live format uh where people can sort of like come in and like at random times and like actually see me kind of reading it um but it might also involve me like stopping in and apologizing for stumbling over things and having to reread things so it might also be like quite a messy thing to do um so it, it yeah it's one of those things where it's like i really want to do it but at the same time i'm hesitant over doing it because i feel like i would struggle to do it in a kind of uh professional kind of way i would do it in a very organic way it would come out however it, it comes out um but i would sort of struggle to do it in a way that was like completely smooth um there would be a lot of issues there would be a lot of stumbling over things there'd be a lot of me like apologizing and going back and, and, and doing other things um so yeah it yeah it's 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 a difficult situation um in that sort of sense and it makes me wish that i was a lot better at sight reading than i actually am um because that would <laughs> that would make my life so much easier that would make it so that i would necessarily be worrying about this stuff but um it is very much well, the, the, it's part of the reason why I have not um, gone about creating my own audiobooks, um, which is something I could do. Um, part of the reason that I haven't done that is, A, it's it's a lot of work, it's a lot of editing work, and to get it to the quality that you need is, I, I yeah, it's, it's a little bit beyond what I would want to be doing at this stage when I don't really have the time to be doing it. Uh, but the other reason is that I do struggle a lot. It would take a, 
I I couldn't just sort of like yeah yeah it would be difficult it would be difficult um I don't have the setup that I need I I don't have the skill level that I need um I would not really be able to to get it to sort of like a good quality level and a lot of that does come down to the fact that I know I'm not a particularly good sight reader I know I do sort of struggle with things like that so yeah yeah it's, as I said it's one of those things it's a really nice idea um for me to like sit down do a live stream of just reading for a little bit um and then like I don't know it's I, d I don't really know how it would work um I've got like a few thoughts as like how like could sort of do things um but at this stage I'm kind of like I don't know how I would get it to work I don't know if it could work um I don't know if it is something that you know I should do but it's this like thought going on in my head and I had the exact same thought last year about doing it as well uh for one of these two books uh Breath of the Four Years or Welcome to Marysdale um just because I was like oh it, it's Halloween it would be nice to sort of like do like a proper like Halloween -y kind of thing and like even if it's just a once off just to sort of like you know uh put it out there and sort of like see how it goes um but at the same time I'm kind of like I don't know if I could get it to work. It's uh, a lot of not being very confident when it comes to sort of reading things out loud. Um, I don't know if it would be particularly interesting for people. I'm not entirely sure how I would get it to work um, or, you know, the best way of going about it. So, yeah, it, it's like, yeah, it, it's like that, basically. On the one hand, it's like this thing that I really want to try and it's something that I think could be really good if I figured it out. And on the other hand, it's kind of like, well, I'm not very confident that I could do it in a way that works particularly well. Um, I'm not entirely sure, you know, if I should go ahead and do it. There, there are a lot of like things that I'm a little bit insecure about. Um, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, um, I'm sure by the time this form goes up, I will have maybe made a decision one way or the other, and I'll have either done it or be about to do it or whatever, depending on like when this goes up and when things sort of like fall in various things like that. <laughs> um, uh, so I hope you're... You may have a better idea at this stage as to what, what decision I've made. Um, I hope you're interested or not interested or you know whatever <laughs> i'm not doing a very good job of rounding this up yay um anyway, i i i hope you sort of found this vlog sort of conceptually interesting if nothing else i hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is i'm talking about next time hopefully it'll be something a lot more coherent than this <laughs> maybe um, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.